Welcome viewers, Days Loser here, looking to get a win on the Ultimate Pack Battles channel. At the time I'm filming this video, it is Christmas Day, or Christmas evening rather, so I figured I'd do some little Christmas gift openings. First, I'll be starting with this nice collector's tin of Pokemon cards, which includes three foil cards of Rillaboom, Cinderace, and Inteleon, as well as five Pokemon TCG booster packs, and much more. So we're going to go ahead and crack into this first of many gifts on this evening, and I hope you enjoy the video. If you do, smack that like, hit subscribe if you want, if that's a little bit too much to ask for, just watch the video. I hope you enjoy. Let's get right on into this Christmas opening. Alright guys, I hope you all had a wonderful Christmas. Mine was pretty good myself, however Christmas Eve and the previous day were a bit of a bust because I had two tires blow out back to back in under 24 hours. But the poor seasonal luck could end here with some really nice pulls from this collector's edition tin. Now I am already aware of uh, some of the things to expect in here. As far as I know it comes with a small pocket sized binder, a notepad, this is pretty much some of this stuff here, some stickers comes with uh, whatever these are, I think more stickers, but let's just crack in and see for ourselves. As well as getting this beautiful little tin, which I'll probably use to carry some lunch into work whenever, or I'll just leave it on the shelf to look pretty. But as we pop open here, we have our first three starters in hollow form. We have a beautiful Charizard pin. Uh, I believe that's the VMAX Zard pin, if I'm not wrong, which is a pretty good coin, you know? I'll, I'll definitely take that. I don't have a Charizard coin yet, so happy to have that. And as well as our three cards here. No, uh, no code for those, so sorry about that. But there will be codes inside of our packs. But before we get to those, let's go ahead and look at our uh, little goodies we get here. Inside of our collector's tin, for this we'll have some Charizard VMAX stickers, some Gigantamax Pikachu stickers, as well as some larger versions of those stickers as well. And then we have some stickers of Rillaboom, Cinderace, and Inteleon, as well as some larger stickers of Cinderace, Rillaboom, and Inteleon. Pretty neat. You also get a sweet little Sword and Shield notepad here. And uh, I enjoy writing in my spare time, taking down notes, uh, budgeting, writing little poems from here to there, you know, just little things that come into my mind, so I enjoy a, light, a nice little notepad, as well as this sweet little pocket binder, which uh, I, I do actually use. A lot of people don't really care for these, but, you know, it's a good place to keep my cards when my uh, jewel cases are full, and if I'm out of sleeves, these will these will suffice until I get some more. But aside from all the other little goodies, let's go ahead and crack into our packs for this video. And go ahead and put the rest of this stuff back into our tin here, as well as our three starters. First, let's do a little swirl check for Cinderace. Now, as I said, these uh, bubble hollows usually don't have a whole lot of swirlage going on. I'm not seeing any prominent swirls on Cinderace. Don't believe I see any on Inteleon either. And as far as Rillaboom, Let's see here. No prominent swirling on Rillaboom either. It looks like there might have been something trying to go on there, but not seeing any for the time being. Let's go ahead and pop those back into our tin and place this aside as we get started cracking on our five TCG packs. We have one Sword and Shield base. We have a Burning Shadows. We have a Sun and Moon base. Then we have a Vivid Voltage and another Vivid Voltage. Oh, looks like we do have a code card for you guys. There you go, guys. Pop that in. Get yourselves a Collector's Chest, Rillaboom, Cinderace, and Inteleon on me. But without further ado, let's organize our packs here. I'm going to go ahead and crack into... Uh, let's do one of our Vivid Voltages first, and then we'll uh, crack into the next Vivid Voltage last off. Starting off with a green code. There you are, guys. And do our one, two, three, four to the front. These cards feel super nice, though. Definitely a little better quality. For some reason, they just feel almost fake. They're so nice and smooth. 
Uh, for the energy game, I'm going to say fire. And we got an electric. Starting off with a Zeb Striker. We have a Dusclops. A beauty. Looking beautiful in them streets. We got a Whalmer. We have a Tynamo. We have an Execute rolling down the hill. Chatot singing a beautiful little song. We have a Clobopus. A Reverse Hollow Great Value Squirtle. And we have a Samurott for a non-holo rare in our first pack. But it ain't over yet, folks. Cracking into our next pack, let's do our Sun and Moon base. I don't think the Pokemon International Company would be uh, evil enough to send me uh, mapped packs. Nope, got a green code. They mapped it, guys. They mapped the packs. Uh, not getting any good Sun and Moon pulls here. At least not from the base. Two, three, four to the front. I'm going to say Water Energy. Another Electric. I actually should have gone with my gut on that one. We have a Bulldore. We have a Switch. And a Lowland Persian, which to me just looks derpy. I don't like a Lowland Persian, to be honest. Makuhita, a very good uh, basic to use for your fighting decks. We have a Caterpie. Purrus. Young Goose. Shelder. We have a reverse hollow gold duck and a lantern non hollow rare for our second pack from our sword and shield base. We're gonna move into our sorry, that was our sun and moon base. We're gonna be moving into our sword and shield base first. Specifically from this pack, I would like to pull a uh, Cinderace 36 of 202. So even though this is a green code, I can still get a misprint card that I really want. I did buy one on eBay. That'll be here uh, by the 4th. Say, uh, Steel. Psychic. We have a Salazzle. We have a Bisharp. A Pokemon Catcher. We have a Shelder. A Mawile. We have a Galarian Ponyta. A Sobble. Maractus. A Reverse Hollow Maractus. Back to back. With the attacks Zzzt. Everybody loves zzz. Then we have a Sandaconda, non hollow, rare. Moving into our Sun and Moon Burning Shadows. Maybe we'll pull that Zard. If I can crack this pack open, that is. Oh, this one's really fighting. Just gotta bust it open. Sheer Brute Force. Another green code. Looks like it's a bum box so far. But we can still hope for something nice out of our last pack of Vivid Voltage. Got four to the front. Have a Water Energy. We have a Kiwa Kiawe. We have a Semi Seer. A Heat More. Pretty good fire one for your fire decks. A Wimpod. A Meow. A Magikarp. A Croagunk. A nice little Pikachu. Reverse Hollow Malamar. And a Meow Stick. Non Hollow Rare. So far, we got some bum packs here, but it ain't over yet. We still have one final pack of Vivid Voltage. And after this video, my next, uh, I'm going to go ahead and film another one. Same day here, I'm going to crack into my Vivid Voltage ETB. As well as my third Vivid Voltage booster box. There's your code there, guys. Pop that in at your leisure, but first come, first served. Don't take too long. Let's say a fire energy. We got a green grass energy. We have an Excadrill. We have a Mac Cargo. A Nessa. Rockruff. Wismer. Trubbish. Which is what this box uh, has been so far. Tynamo. Clobopus. Reverse Hollow Joltik. Still playing with the electricity. Not safe, even though he's an electric type. And we have a Shift Tree. Non hollow rare. All bum packs for my 2020 collector's tin. Not to say that all of them are poorer, you know, in pack selection. Uh, I have seen some good stuff come out of these. But even just to get the nice tin, you get these three hollow starters, as well as a nice notepad, a pocket binder, tons of stickers. It still is a pretty fair value. I was able to pick this up at GameStop for 25 bucks retail. So if you are able to find one retail without having to pay scalpers an exorbitant amount for five packs and some nice little goodies, 
go ahead and pick it up. It's still a nice little find, and I hope you enjoyed this short video here today, as well as I hope you enjoyed your Christmas. Hope you got all the things you wanted, and so much more. Thank you so much. Have a beautiful day, guys. Well, guys, it looks like we had a bit of a bust on this video, but Christmas goes on. I hope that your Christmas was better than my pack openings here, and go ahead in the comments below, let me know what you got for Christmas. Did you get any good tools? Did you get a neat shirt? Maybe some cool socks? We appreciate it for everything you get. I'm appreciative, even though I got no hollow pools. But I'll go ahead and play us out on some blues harp for the end of this video here. Thanks for watching, guys. Days loser.